Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for another video. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Wizard. And it's that time of the year again where we flip through our planner of the previous month, in this case, the month of February. And we take a look at what we've done in our planner flip through all of the spreads, kind of review how our planning system and strategies went for, you know, the previous month, and then start looking forward to the upcoming month. So I'm going to be flipping through my mega happy planner. This is my Franken planner that I have. I believe I have eight different planners in here right now. Um, and I'll be sharing with you how the month of February went down in my planner and I'll just be sharing everything that I've been doing in my planner. Um, so if you're interested in checking out this flip through and seeing what's been going on in my planner solar system, just keep on watching. So I'm still with the Hello 22 doodle cover. I love this cover so much, but I do think that I'm going to be switching it up in March to a different cover. And I'm on my hot pink metal expander discs um, with my one gold tooth. And I love this cover so much. It makes me so happy looking at it. And let me move some of this stuff so I can center my planner here. Okay, so this month i had a lot of fun with my cover page you're gonna see a lot of valentines a lot of pink a lot of red a lot of hearts and cutesy stuff in my planner this month because obviously it was valentine's day and i totally like to you know uh, celebrate every single season and holiday so really really love my cover page i had a lot of fun putting this together and i'm gonna be so sad to move this out of my planner and then something new that I did in my planner this month, I found these uh, Gudetama motivational posters at my local bookstore. And they were just like a series of thick cardstock paper. Um, and they were slightly bigger than this. I actually had to cut them down to size for them to fit into my classic happy planner. Not by much. It was only maybe like half an inch on each side that I had to cut down to have them fit into my um, planner. But I really like uh, Gudetama and so I saw these and I thought they would be wonderful dividers in my happy planner. And so I went and replaced all of the dividers that I had already created from um, scrapbook paper in my happy planner that divide all of the different planners that I have, I went ahead and just replaced them with these really cute Gudetama motivational posters. So yeah, and I had a few extra and so um, I put this one on the back of the cover page uh, so that I could cover up what was on the uh, back of that. So anyways, I have my table of contents as always the year at a glance, the yearly overview. I love my yearly overview so much. It helps me like stay organized. <laughs> and then something new that I did this month as well was I put in these um, kind of like a bullet journal type of pages from a colorful leopard um, journal. I have my yearly habit tracker that I set up for the next couple of months here. And then I also finished my New Year's resolutions vision board spread here at the beginning. These are all of my New Year's resolutions. I have one for every planner that I have. And so I set that up. I still have this page right here that I want to do something with, but I'm not sure exactly what I want to do there. And then I also have a bucket list type spread here on the back and um, this came with the, you know, with the pages themselves. So I didn't really like care to have that spread, but because it just kind of was on the back of this um, spread, I just left it in there. I also went ahead and updated my sticky note dashboard. I changed the scrapbook paper. It was on to this beautiful holographic like reptile um, skin 
type of scrapbook paper and I updated all of the sticky notes on here and I really love how it turned out. I think it looks gorgeous and I put some on the back there as well. I have my hourly block schedule that I'll sometimes reference and then I have a couple of um, hourly schedule pages, daily agenda pages from various um, packs and I just pull for these whenever I want a little bit more of structure in my day. I also have some blank dot grid paper and then I have again another Gudetama motivational poster separating the sections from each other and this is where my um, my planners start. So the first planner that I have here I'm going to see if I can remember to share every single planner that I use in my Mega Happy Planner. So the first planner I have here is from this Mickey Mouse Undated Vertical Plan Your Dreams Planner. Such a gorgeous, fun planner. But this is like my main planner. This is my science planner, my work planner. Um, this is my finishing grad school and graduating in July planner. And this planner organizes all of my scientific research that I need to conduct in order to graduate. And so there's my monthly view. And that's the first week in February, the second week of February, the third week and this is the current week and as you can see um, I do use this uh, planner quite a bit but there are some days and some weeks that I obviously don't use it as much so there's that we have the overview for the next month and actually I am going to be setting aside that planner um, for the rest of the year and because it's undated I can do that without really you know feeling like I'm wasting the planner because I recently picked up this planner here from Joann's it was on clearance and this is a Mickey Mouse Oasis vertical dated planner and I thought it would be fun to incorporate this into my current planner lineup I'm gonna exchange the undated Mickey Mouse for this dated Oasis planner because I love the Oasis line so much and I really wanted this planner when it came out but I already had my undated vertical um, for work and so I knew that you know I couldn't pick up everything but now that that planner was on clearance I went ahead and picked it up and now I'm gonna incorporate it and replace this undated vertical with that one so that way I don't have to date every single month anymore and, and when I'm done with that one, I can return to the undated vertical um, whenever I want. So there's that. And then we have the next planner in my lineup. And again, my Gudetama poster is separating um, this planner from the previous one. And... And then we're moving on to my next planner. I have my Gudetama poster separating that planner, uh, this planner from the previous planner. And this planner is actually a color block vertical and the cover of it is actually the cover I'm using for the entire Franken planner. It's the one that's seasonal and has doodles and is so, so cute. I loved this divider for February. But anyways, this uh, planner is my higher education planner, I like to call it, because I actually have two positions, two paid positions that I combined into this one planner. And um, I'm currently an adjunct faculty at the University of San Diego, and also I am a communications and outreach um, coordinator in the graduate division. These are two part-time positions. So they're not, you know, full-time positions, but together <laughs> they're the work of a full-time position. And so I put um, all of the stuff from those two positions into this planner here. And um, I have been so, so busy this, this entire month um, starting both those positions and it has been a lot of fun and I've learned so much and I'm getting so much experience and I'm getting paid pretty well for my work, but I am working quite a bit. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But And oh, I forgot to mention, I don't know if you have noticed, but each one of my planners has its like, own particular theme. And because my science planner is like a, a Mickey Mouse planner, the theme is of course like Mickey Mouse. And so I use a lot of Mickey Mouse stickers. And then for this uh, planner, um, the theme is like pastel rainbow. 
uh, very whimsical and bright and fun. So that is the theme for this planner here. And then moving on, I have again my Gudetama poster separating um, my planners and I, I paper clip my Gudetama dividers to the monthly overview of the next section so that way I can like flip right to the monthly overview. And this planner is a dashboard planner and the planner that I am pulling these pages from is this guy right here. It's the one that says 2022 with the white and black polka dot cover. And I love this planner so much. It has a lot of like soft blush tones to it. And the theme in this planner is like soft and minimal. And this planner is my science communication planner. So this is a lot of my outreach and community service work that I do in the community um, to advance science education um, in various ways. And so, and I do a lot of doodles and sketching for like different organizations that I'm part of. And so I have like a little sketch area here that I try to like practice sketching and stuff. Um, and yeah, so this planner actually, um, I've been kind of torn up about it. Um, I thought the dashboard was going to work well for me. And this is my second month in and I've decided that the dashboard does not work well for me for this particular uh, planner. I don't know why I thought it, I thought it was going to be like good for me. I used a vertical last year and that was really good. And I thought that the dashboard was going to be even better, but for some reason it's not really working for me. And so I think I'm going to be switching up this planner um, to back into a vertical. And I think I am going to uh, pull for this colorful dogs planner that I just picked up on clearance at Joanne's because I have been feeling kind of stifled in this dashboard um, which is weird because I really like dashboard planners I don't know why I don't like it as much for this particular section um, but yeah it's not really working for me um, so I'm going to be switching out this planner for a vertical in March and then I'm going to be transferring this planner to be my household planner, which I love dashboard for household. So I'm going to be switching this over to be my household planner in March. And then moving on to my next planner section, we have my Gudetama poster separating um, the sections. And then uh, we go straight into the February overview, which this planner is my uh, current events planner. And I use a lined vertical for this section. And this is a planner that these pages are from. It's the Colorful Leopard planner. And this is my current events planner. And so how I use this planner is like, I like to journal in it. And so for the monthly, I'll write like the most important radio item that I heard that day. Um, usually it's radio, but sometimes it can be like a front, you know, front page headline. So um, whenever I have the time and energy and remember to do so, I'll write down in this monthly. And this month, obviously, I wasn't really able to be in here as much as I wanted to, but I did get, you know, I did write a few things down. And then for the weekly layouts, this is a lined vertical, which is perfect because I like writing a lot. So whenever I read news articles, I'll kind of write down the, the, the title of the article and then also maybe like one or two things I learned from reading that article. And this week was, I mean, this month was so, so busy for me. So I'm like surprised that I even was able to write down a few things. And this week was absolutely like so busy and nothing happened. It is Saturday, so I might go ahead and read a few articles today and like try to fill out, you know, the spread uh, in general. Um, I don't mind going back and like filling in things um, because it fills up pretty fast once you start writing, but you just got to like make the time to read the article and then write a few things about it. And, you know, I don't mind how little I fill this planner in because for me, it's just about motivating myself to even, you know, have 
the time and energy to read like full length news articles from the New York Times or the Los Angeles Times. And if I just read like one or two articles a week and then write down a few things in my planner, I consider that like I've already, you know, done more than like I dreamed possible because this planner is to motivate me to be informed on current events. So even if I only read like two articles a week, that for me is enough. Like, um, so I am proud of the weeks that, you know, I did read maybe two or three articles in the beginning of the week and I totally didn't read anything after that. Just the fact that I read a few articles at the beginning of the week is enough to make me happy and make me proud of myself. And so, yeah, this is my current events planner. And then moving on to my fifth planner. This is my spirituality and faith planner. And the planner that I'm using for this section is this Painterly Pastels planner. This is a color block uh, style planner. And I am very multi-faith, so you're, you're going to see a lot of multi-faith uh, references here. I do a lot of tarot and oracle readings, and so um, I like to journal about the tarot card of the month here. This is my spirituality calendar where I keep track of planetary motions, Aztec calendar eras, and different, you know, multi-faith holidays. And then in... The weeklies, I'll journal, um, I'll write down reflections, I'll write down, you know, um, different uh, religious texts I read, I'll journal, I'll pray, I'll do everything that's faith related in this section. And some weeks I am definitely not in here as much as other weeks, but that's totally fine. So that is my spirit section. And I actually am going to be switching this up. The color block format isn't really working for me. So I decided to go ahead and get into an actual faith planner. And although this faith planner is really Christian oriented and Christian centered, that's all right. I do practice, you know, some aspects of Christianity, um, but I think I can use it as a multi-faith planner, no problem. And I don't mind seeing all of the like Christian verses on it because as I said, I do read the Bible. I do worship God. I do, um, I do appreciate the scripture that's in here. So it's not going to bother me, but yes, really happy to be moving out of this color block. There was something about this color block that just wasn't working for me in this section, and I felt like I had to fight against it and struggle with it every single week. So I'm really excited to be moving out of the color block. And then I just have some spiritual appendices back here. I have a folder and a bookmark kind of marking um, some spiritual appendices. I have my Aztec calendar as always. I also made some new astrological moon pages um, here and these are uh, my new moon and full moon journaling pages. So every time we have a new moon or full moon, these are really important um, times of the year, times of the lunar cycle. And it's important to reflect on different aspects of yourself and your life at each of these stages. And so I've been slow like compiling um, you know diff these different moon pages uh, together because overall there's 24 different types of moon and so I did a few and I'm still working on them I need to get a couple of done um, I'm a little bit behind on these but that's okay then we have my uh, fitness journal fitness planner and this planner is uh, this guy right here love this planner so much and this is my uh, February overview. Um, I have this nice little like uh, workout tracker that I've been slowly filling in. And I just love this divider so much. And this is my monthly overview. I'm really redundant with my fitness planner. I like to not only kind of like keep track of my workouts here, but also on my monthly um, calendar and also in my weekly calendar. And this week I was so busy that I wasn't really able to be in here too much. I barely was in here. I like barely did anything in here. And like, especially these last couple of days, I have been completely not in my planners. Um, this, this month was just insane. It was insane. <laughs> the amount of work that I was uh, having to do. But I'm excited to like reinvigorate myself and throw myself back into my planners in March. And then moving on to my wellness planner, um, 
oops, this paper clip got the divider as well. So I have my Gudetama poster and then this is my wellness planner here. And I use this wellness planner for my wellness planning. It says your soul is golden on the cover. I love the dividers. They have really cute messages. And um, this is my mood tracker here. I like to use the calendar, um, the calendar, the monthly calendar as a mood tracker. And let me actually, um, let me fill this up. Oh my God, Thursday, I was not feeling good. I barely slept and it really showed. Let's see. And then I would say I was like content on Friday and Saturday. I'm already, I, I feel great. So let me just color that up. So as you can see this month, I've been feeling pretty good. Um, on my scale here like pink is like my highest mood like my best mood and i would say like the majority of the month i've been feeling pretty good except on thursday that day it was horrendous i barely slept um it was my fault i felt like i could you know be a superwoman and go about my my life with only like four hours of sleep and my body told me no my mind said no you cannot be doing this anyway that's my mood tracker and again this month was super busy for me so i feel like i wasn't really in my planner as much as i wanted to be especially this last week here i was not in my planner but it's fine it's okay and then i just have some wellness appendices back here um i have my bedtime routine which i filmed i loved that and i also have my sleep logs which i've been slowly filling in but um haven't really been doing those as much as I want to. I have some wellness journaling pages in here in case I want to get into those. And then we move on to my next planner, which is um, my household planner. So this is my household planner and I'm actually using a Mickey Mouse um, color block, Mickey Mouse dashboard for my household planner and I've been really like leaning into this farmhouse theme for this one which is a little bit difficult to reconcile with like the color block Mickey um, theme that this planner is in and this uh yeah this month I was on vacation for a little bit I was in Texas and so I wasn't home for like a week um so you can kind of see that I wasn't really in my planner uh, of my household planner this month and yeah I just oh, this last week again I wasn't in my planners at all so it's super blank but again I'm gonna get back into it in March sometimes you know life happens we can't be in our planners all the time and I actually think I'm gonna step away from my color block Mickey dashboard planner this planner right here um, I think I'm gonna step away from this one and I'm going to move into this one for my household planner. They're both dashboard planners, but this one is the blush dashboard planner. And it's just, it's just really like elegant and simple and minimal. And I feel like it would go with my farmhouse theme more than the color block Mickey one is going with my uh, farmhouse theme. And, um... And yeah, and this planner here is going to end anyway in June, like June is the last month. And so I, I'm going to have to like switch planners anyway at some point. And I figured I might as well just go ahead and switch up um, planners. I mean, I've used this planner since Ju July of last year all through um, February of this year. So I only have... Um, four months left in here, which I might, you know, repurpose and redate for some other time and place. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and switch into this planner here. Um, I feel like that one is gonna motivate me a bit more. And I love this color block Mickey dashboard, but it's just not the perfect fit for my household planner. Um, 
because I really want to go with this farmhouse theme and Mickey isn't really farmhouse. <laughs> I really wish that they had made the uh, the new Mickey Mouse farmhouse line that came out from the Happy Planner. I really wish they had made a planner in the dashboard, like classic dashboard style, but the only dashboard they came out with from that line is in the big size, which I don't use big size. So yeah, I'm sad about that, but it's fine. And then we have my last Gudetama motivational poster uh, before we move into my last planner. And this is my meal planning section. So this is the planner that these pages came from. Ugh, oh, the, the dividers are so beautiful and gorgeous. And again, this, this week, this month, absolutely like not the best. Um, but yeah, this is what my weeks have been looking like um and this is the current week here i have my meal plan section and then i totally didn't really get into my planner um this last week something new i've been doing is keeping track of my calories um, here at the bottom but that is my uh meal planner and i also use these weekly meal plan uh stationary sheets that I got from TJ Maxx to help me pre-plan. Um, so it's kind of like I use these sheets to like pre-plan and for my grocery list and I take this in into the store with me so I don't have to take my whole planner. But the reason why I like to pre-plan and then also have like a meal planner, um, you know, a separate meal planner is because Sometimes I'll pre-plan and then what I actually end up doing and eating is very different. And so I feel like the pre-plan helps me like put my best foot forward. But then I only write down what I actually eat like in this planner here. So then I can get a sense of, you know, my nutrition in general. And then I stick all of the weekly meal plans like back here once I'm done with them. So I just have like couple of pages there and then the last thing I have is just my folder with some stationery and some stickers and then I guess I also have this little guy back here I've been uh, trying to draw a, a little mosaic bee so um, yeah I just have that back here that I've been doodling but that is the entire flip through of my eight uh, planner, Mega Planner, Franken Planner, Solar System. I'm going to be setting up my Mega Happy Planner for the month of March in my next video. So if you're interested in checking out that video, um, stay tuned for when I um, upload that one. So that is the entirety of my Mega Happy Planner flip through for the month of February. I hope you enjoyed checking out that flip through. Let me know how your planner lineup is looking for the month of March. Are you changing up any of your current planners for new planners? Um, are you dropping any planners? Are you adding any planners? Let your girl know. I would love to know. I love hearing um, how, diff how people's planner lineups like change and evolve through, you know, through the months so let your girl know and um, if you're interested in catching uh, my planner setup for the month of march uh, stay tuned for the upcoming video all right everyone i hope you have a wonderful day out there in the world today don't forget to be kind don't forget to be creative and don't forget to always um, be authentic all right everyone take care and i'll see you in my next video bye